Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez. Want to update you now on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Police say they've arrested the man who shot and killed rapper Nipsey Hussle. Eric Holder is in custody and being held without bail. He's accused of killing the musician outside his South LA boutique on Sunday. Police say Hustle and Holder knew each other and that the shooting may have been part of a personal dispute. And we're learning more about a Russian surveillance plane spotted over California last week. The jet flew over some of the U.S. military's most sensitive sites. The flight was allowed under the Open Skies Treaty between the U.S. and Russia, and the U.S. launched a similar flight in December over Ukraine to monitor Russian military assets. The U.S. Air Force says American observers were on board to monitor the flights. Well, water is once again flowing through the Oroville Dam spillway nearly two years after a near disaster that forced nearly 200,000 people to evacuate. Part of the spillway collapsed during heavy rains back in winter of 2017, threatening potentially deadly floods. The massive renovation lasted two years and cost more than $1 billion. Well, the FDA announced it is holding a public hearing next month on CBD products. The cannabis deter derivative is marketed for everything from pain relief to reducing stress and anxiety. Congress legalized hemp derived CBD back in December, but Right now, the FDA still prohibits adding it to food or drink. The public hearing is scheduled for May 31st. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a look at weather. Amber? Hi Juan. So we definitely cooled down today compared to yesterday. We also have a wind advisory for the high deserts and also over the mountaintops. And that's going to last with us through tomorrow morning. And what that means is we're expecting gusts anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour for the Victor Valley area, for the Mojave Desert, and also through the Coachella Valley. As we head into the next few days, temperatures will continue to cool. So this cooling trend stays with us through the end of the week. We could even see some drizzle by early Early tomorrow morning as that marine influence thickens up, possibly some drizzle by Thursday night, but our better chance for rain, very light showers, about a quarter inch or less will be Friday, lingering into the early part of Saturday. Then once we head into the weekend, we are warming up, high pressure building in, 70s and 80s returning by Sunday. Amber, thanks. Join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6 and 11 for the very latest on your weather forecast and all your top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Amber Lee, I'm Juan Fernandez. Have a great night.